Hi guys and welcome to another video by Travel Vegan and Frodo. Thank you for coming back on the channel. Thank you for being here, checking out, checking in, asking questions, interacting and all of the above. So today, if you saw by the title, we are going to be talking about, as you can see, bike at the back and we're going to be talking about saddlebags. So what are saddlebags? Saddlebags are these bags exhibit A, <laughs> that you attach at the back of your sick post here and basically use that instead of having kind of rags, back, uh, rear rags, front rags, any other kind of bags or as an addition to your other bags and basically it stays up like that. Yeah. And you roll it up or whatnot. And the two bags I have experience with and I'm talking about is this one new one, Epidura, and my old one, which is Oddly Yep, So let's talk about these two bags, let's talk about their specifics and my experience with them basically. So my experience uh, with the Oddly bag is I took it, I rode with it for um, Three, three or four thousand case touring in Australia. I didn't have any other bags basically, just my bike, the saddle bag, and a couple of, um, couple of frame bags, like a couple of pockets at the front and a one frame bag. When I went to America, I had the saddle bag here, and see this actually looks pretty new, and I had the penny bags on the rack. So I didn't use this as much, right, when I was riding, but I was still opening and closing it every day. So these, both of these bags are 100% waterproof. They're really, really good. If I can come up a little bit closer, you can see the fabric they're made out of. They're pretty, pretty sweet um, bags. This one's a bit more worn out. It's kind of this tough, it's very durable, very tough in regards to what's inside. Um, an outlet bag, there's like this hard shell from the top and very soft from the bottom. And here um, is inside. An outlet bag, they call it a sick pack. And was that height 30 centimeters with 64 and depth 22. It weighs 40, 430 grams and it can fit in 16 and a half liters which is pretty pretty good pretty big um also at the back so you roll this bag up like this and you hook it up to a couple of these little clips that you have up the front here when it's obviously on your bike so to get it attached to the seat post you have these two straps that get attached to these little buckles and they go around your seat post just basically yeah yeah so it kind of goes through it up and around and this is just velcro but it's really 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 tough velcro they the way you attach it to your saddle post um, from the top so this is for for the actual post and from the top on the seat here on these little um, things you have additional clips here right and you just kind of put it through I do like a little demonstration later so basically there's one on each side and you put it through and connect it and by doing that you also bring up your bag because these connected to the rest of the bag and they bring up the bag and basically connects. The really, really cool thing about the Otley Ab that I love, that I think is incredible, is this little vacuum valve that they have. So basically you can pack it up, put all the things that you want in your bag, and then in order to make the size smaller, okay, air doesn't weigh much, but it's just a lot more fits in if you don't have those air pockets in, in there and the more you can scrunch it up and push it up like see you can even hear it see it letting it lets the air out um it'll be much easier much simpler for you to ride 
when all the air is out because there'll be a lot more air. You can make basically the bag more air the way you kind of scrunch it up and push it together and stuff like that. Also, a really, really cool thing with the bag, um, well, as you probably saw, it has this little reflective thing for the reflective fabric that's also pretty cool. Um, here you can tighten it up with a little, little cool thing and you just tighten it up if you want it tighter as well so it's much easier it kind of scrunches up you, I feel like with this thing you really really like scrunch it up when you want to go on tours where you care about the case the speed or indie bag <laughs> basically I want to say indie bag um, and with these little hooky things at the back as you can see you can hook your lights through here as well so that's really cool. And they go through basically from the bottom here all the way through to the top. So there's like many different options depending on how much you scrunched up your bag, how full it is. There are different areas, you know, for your light. Because that's important, being this is important. With a Pajura bag, the rolling basically kind of goes the opposite way. Right? It's still clipped. It has this couple of clips that it goes on, bang bang, yep, it connects to your post, again with this insanely, these insanely long velcros, so that's a really cool one, the velcro on Altlieb is actually, um, on Altlieb, on this one, is shorter, if you have a look, it's shorter than on Epidura, so if you have really fat posts, set of posts, here, if that thing is fat, it's better, like, you're better to have longer ones, right? Does it make sense? Also, in regards to thickness, the same, same, kind of, much, much, just really, between these two. So, this is one, step one. So, how you're connecting your bag to your saddle post in step two. You have these little hook things um, on the side as well, these little, what are they called, clips. And again, you just bam, bam, and you put it through the little openings here on your saddle, right, to kind of bring the bag up. The thing that Apidura doesn't have um, is that valve that I talked about with Otley Air Bag. So what I found, this little valve here, what I found when I was using these bags is that I continuously had to go back from the bottom after I put everything in, it was annoying because when I was trying to um, close it, it was like ballooning up for me. Um, it's, well, right now it's empty, right? So it's easy for you to come out, plus I didn't do it up really tight here. But I found, I fa that's, that's my experience, how I found it. Um, when I pushed all this stuff inside of the bag, I had to really like unroll it and really go from the bottom here, letting the, all the air out and only then start scrunching it up. Does that make sense? So I found that a bit annoying, especially because especially I've, I've gotten used to these, this bag and just have a battle. Uh, I, I love that bag. <laughs> um, so again, Otlier bag has this little couple of areas where you can put your light, which is good. Not as many as on Otlier. As you can see, there's many, many, many on this one, but only a couple on this one. It still has this little pull um, thing, string thing, which brings the bag together and may, makes it a little bit more arrow. And it has like sort of, it's not, the shell is not as thick and hard as this one, that, like the internal shell in the bag to give it its form and help it hold its form. It's not as hard, but it's still reasonably firm. And there's that little bit of a shell at the bottom and at the top, about the same width. And let's have a look inside. Let's have a look inside. See, you can, you can sort of see it, do you see it? Yeah, you see that's the yellow, that's, that's the little shell. So it's like kind of goes everywhere. Where with this one, there's nothing at the bottom, but there is that shell at the top but that this shell is much harder. So in regards to uh, weight, size, and all that kind of stats, um, in Otley App, it only comes in one size and all the dimensions and things that I said before. In Epidura, in this one, you can get 
in, in three different sizes, compact, medium and regular. So it goes from 11 liters to 17 and a half. So this one is the 17 and a half version. So this is basically just one liter larger than what they have technically. And this is the largest one. And it's 520 millimeters by 17, um, 170 millimeters in height and 19 millimeters in width and it weighs 400 grams. So this is slightly lighter, but by 30 grams, like seriously. Um, it's not to the front, right? <laughs> so both are about the same weight. This is, um, yeah, this is for regular, for the bigger size. So for the small size, it's 350. Mm, I don't know, do you care? <laughs> about 100 grams, it's not an extra kilo. So anyway, um, these are the dimensions, this is, feel like yeah we've discussed this quite a bit um i don't really i just i, I don't see any reflective do you see any reflectors in this one i don't <laughs> i don't seriously i love a Pajura's, um frame bags and i love a Pajura's little snake bags at the front here the little pockets that i have right you would have seen it in vlogs <laughs> but I absolutely much, much more prefer for a saddle bag, for a saddle bag, um, the old layer one, because of all the different reasons I've listed before. However, nevertheless, um, Epidura saddle bag is an excellent product as well. It's really good. All the big names, big riders use it big all the time. It's a huge brand, right? In bicycle touring, bikepacking world, they're both much muchness of a price because Apidura comes in different sizes and I'm quoting here in Australian dollars from an Australian website right now uh, but again like depends what kind of dealers you can find on online and on some like, second hand stores and whatever else if you want to get second hand. Um, the only thing if you're getting it second hand make sure these little things are not too worn out right because I got this one second hand and it has done over 5,000 case before I got my hands on it um, so this thing really really lasts but this one is pretty brand new as well and I've heard that these last a long time as well but yeah this is like kind of where it gets worn out after about 10 15 thousand so just when you if you're buying it second hand just kind of check, check that out check the kind of stuff out make sure that all these straps are like intact and things like that and all the all the regular stuff when you buy things online um, so Epidura, because it comes in three different sizes, the price varies from 165 for the smallest to 180 Australian dollars for this bigger size. With Oatly Eb, there's only one size, but I feel like if you're going some, doing some serious storing on this, what you're looking for, you know, is just the one size, or otherwise go for Epidura. Um, this goes to $110, brand new. Yes, it's not the cheapest of purchases, but I feel like it is totally worth it. And it, like, like, hey, I paid for both of them, they're both mine, and I've used them thousands of Ks, each one of them separately. And I have found, can I say this one less annoying? <laughs> <laughs> um, basically, no, like Otley M is really, really cool as well, and I love their products too. But in the, for, from my experience, in this specific kind of, you know, yeah, from my experience, I have had incredibly good experience with Otley M, and yeah, basically, it has reflectors. You can connect your light in more areas. It fits in the same, basically the same size as your Epidura bag. It is 100% waterproof, just like your Epidura bag. The straps, the negatives are that these straps, they're not overly long, and the negative was that this was not long enough for my cell post that I had at the time. It was much thicker. So I'll show you in a little bit what I did to basically fix it up and have that sorted. But other than that, it is a freaking phenomenal, phenomenal bag. I, I love this bag and the coolest thing that I think that Epidura should really look into developing and just including in their bag just because even if it's $10 extra or something are these little valves that 
the vacuum valves. If a Pajura had the vacuum valve and maybe includes another reflector and another little thing here like this, um, I'd be into it as well. I'll be, yeah. But see, I haven't even used a Pajura probably much and it's and it kind of like developed like a couple little holes. I'm not being picky already, but anyway, anyway. What I did, um, actually I've talked to a lot of different riders who do long distance cycling, long distance touring, they do races and things like that, and they're always, everybody always has complained to me in the past about, because that's the issue that I have, so I ask other people and other cyclists about that as well. So the issue that they have is once they've loaded up their little saddlebag, right, and they're there, it's like right there, sitting there, it goes when you're riding, or you're like pushing or trying to go really, really fast, it goes that way, that way, that, like it goes side to side, right? Like, and if the wind blows, and if it's, it's a little easier when it's like racks because they're, they're just one, like kind of solid unit one on each side and they're more or less evenly. With this thing, you load it up, and although it is even obviously compared to the bike, but because it's a bit heavy, it goes side to side, side to side. So the thing that I used, and I use, it's not I use, I use it as well still. Oh, I like these little bungee cord things. I'll just get it out. It's all backed up right now. This is a really, really easy, cheap make, which anyone can do. Anyone can do. I have a couple of these, different lengths. Uh, one usually goes through the saddle and around the bag and the other one goes a couple of times around the bag in a different area, like in the knot and over the saddle. But basically they're designed, um, they were created to keep your bag going back side to side, side to side less. And I had to do it because these things were just short for my saddle. But I learned that even with this, it was still going side to side even with longer straps. So this is a bungee cord. See, it kind of goes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And it's it's really good because it's like super duper stringy. Um, at the ends here, you can put, connect them together in any way you want. But what we did is use some zip ties, cable ties or whatever you want to call them, and just cut them off thoroughly and use one of those little rubina hooky things at the end. Yeah. And I basically that's what I use. And that works really, really well. So for the 2000 Ks tour that I did, to in a bit, I didn't have this available to me. And then I came across a really, really good warm shower hose basically who was an engineer and he was super duper keen to help me and he had a bunch of different supplies and it was really outdoorsy. So we basically came up with like a little thing or anyway so that was really really cool and it was very very helpful and now I use it on my tours uh, both bags really and I find it very very helpful so get yourself one of these make yourself one of these little things this is my video for today basically discussing different two different saddlebags Whichever one suits you best, so whichever qualities that you have heard, or, like consider the most important to you, uh, use that as basis of choosing which bag to buy. They're both excellent products. They're both excellent products. They're both designed for backpacking, bike touring, cycle touring, and things like that. They both have basically very, very similar mechanisms on how to attach them. To the bike and they both kind of connect and stay there similarly right they both have little bits little areas where to put your light on Otlieb has reflectors and Otlieb has a little valve thing here to make it easy for you when you roll the bag down to have it basically easier for baking makes it easier for baking Epidura doesn't have that and both they're both good products both you can get in basically the same size weigh about the same the only difference is the Otlieb straps are not as long as the Epidura straps 
Um, but Altlib has a couple of those other features that I talked about that it does have on, uh, that are better than an Epidura, in my opinion, again. Um, and Altlib is more expensive than Epidura, basically. By 50, 50, 40 dollars, about that. So it's up to you if you want to save 30 bucks or if you want to have those couple of extra features like the reflectors, the valve, and just, yeah, just a little bit more kind of friendly, more little areas for your life. So it's up to you what you decide, whatever you think is more important to you when you're choosing your saddlebag. And hope you enjoyed this video, hope it was helpful, useful, you learned some tips, something interesting. And thank you again for watching. Comment down below, maybe use different another bag that we all should check out, or people who watch this video, who came across this video, should check out. And you have found that bag to be better, to be more durable, to be cheaper, maybe have things that these bags don't have, or maybe you have comments on what this bag should have. <laughs> we should give them ideas, right? So for them to create products for us to use. And anyway, have a wonderful, beautiful day. Remember um, to stop counting calories, start counting kills, count your adventures, count your passions, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.